Hello everyone, my name is Eddie Rizzi and today I will present a poster of my postdoctoral work about the Model MDH project, which deals with the identification of diverse amine dehydrogenases by screening biodiversity using sequence and structure-based approaches. This work is carried out at the Genoscope Research Unit Metabolic Genomics from France. Nowadays, one of the main current pharmaceutical interests is the access to chiramines, which compose about 40% of the active pharmaceutical ingredients. There are many biocatalytic ways to obtain chiralamines, but our team is mainly interested in native amine dehydrogenases, also called AMDH, which are NADPH dependent oxidoreductases performing the reductive amination of ketone into chiralamines using ammonia and a nicotinamine factor as a hydrogen. Therefore, thanks to the AMDH for crystallographic structure, sort of by Professor Grogan team from York University, we can see two domains whose blue one is the n terminus NADP binding Rossmanfold domain. Also, in a previous work, the MDH family has been discovered from a genomic approach and some enzymes were char experimentally characterized. In this context, the MODE MDH project was created with the main objective of finding new MDH enzymes displaying different substrate, spectra and host structures. However, compared to classic biodiversity screening using sequence homology, here we aim to find distant homologues using a dual strategy. One sequence-based approach using hidden Markov models and one structure-based approach using catalog force. Finally, the underlying objective of MODE MDH project is to design a bioinformatics workflow applicable to other enzymatic activities. I will now expose the MODE MDH general workflow. So the first steps consist in building two sets of sequences by screening biodiversity using HMM profiles. The first one includes all available NDP dependent enzyme sequences retrieved from genomic and metagenomic data, whereas the second one is an extended reference set already containing homologs of AMDH family. Next, we clusterize each set and after this our selection strategy starts by first generating new HMM profiles for all these new clusters to finally search for distant homologs by screening reference AMDH signatures in NAD enzyme signatures. Secondly, we design catalog force for reference AMDH which will be searched into crystallographic structures or model from NAD families in order to find active sites analogs. Final selection step is the docking of some substrates in the previously found distant homologs and active site analogs to consider them or not as potential candidate enzymes for in vitro analysis such as enzymatic assays or crystallography. The underlying objective is to iterate this approach by re-injecting the selected candidates into the reference set and restart the workflow. If you want more information about our workflow and the preliminary results, you may attend my poster and feel free to ask me questions. Thank you very much.